Hi there everybody, it's Rody here from inkitbutterfly.com Thank you for joining me again today for another card making tutorial and we're doing some colouring today to make this really nice simple card using the free as a bird stamp set Okay, really nice and um, simple colouring uh, nothing too complicated but I just felt like doing some colouring for a bit and um, I've used a blush and bride card base on this and I've coloured my birds to look like um, little blue tits there. Uh, just a simple ribbon and the sentiment and that's been cut with the stitched rectangles. Okay, so we're going to replicate this using some different colours. Um, to make them look a little bit more like robins. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so we've got a pool party card base instead this time just to, to mix up some colours and a bit of basic white there to stamp our image. We're using stamp and blends so we're going to um, get that inked and stamped with the um, Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad which is water based. So um, if we're using a water-based ink that will not react with the alcohol that we're going to use in the stamping blends okay if you're using markers the um stamp and write markers which are water-based so these round barreled ones rather than the square ones or watercolor pencils or something like that you would want to use a waterproof ink such as a stays on okay so we're going to do our um sort of foliage and bits and bobs first um, so it's soft suede that we've brought I've brought out for the branch here I'm going to use the dark marker just to run along the underneath there that sort of bottom edge of that branch and just go into some of the little side shoots as well so just a line across there and then we'll come back in with the light marker over the top and out and once that dries those two will blend beautifully and give us our bit of shadow on there. It's only subtle, much more apparent in real life I would imagine and um, so just bear with it it'll be it, it's all worth it. it just that extra line of the dark marker underneath just makes all the difference. So I'm switching to old olive now and basically I'm covering one half of each of these leaves sort of towards the bottom and to the left sometimes that's excuse me <coughs> um, so just determine which one which half you're going to color and sort of stick with it so just half the leaf there was nothing fancy about that at all and then we're going to go in with the light marker and go over the rest of those leaves. I always miss that one. I did that on the first one as well. So this is not complicated blending in any way, but um, there's enough layers of colour in there to I miss that one too. To give it some um, oomph, some uh, dimension and stuff. So it's going to look good makes all the difference and but doesn't have to be complicated at all okay let's just go around all of those I'm using the bullet tips but just because they're just very small areas okay so that's our leaves done okay I would say it's a lot more effective in real life oh I've missed those two as well oh you will screaming at the camera that there's more leaves. That's probably the one. Well, 
easily fixed to go back to. So on my original sample the, uh, the flowers were pink. I actually used Flirty Flamingo for that. Just switching this up um, just so that we just get a different set of colours really. Um, this is um, Daffodil Delight I believe. Yep. Just putting sort of a dot in the centre or on the sort of um, the petals that are towards the back. Again, it's really super subtle. Um, just tiny details, but you'd be surprised what a difference it makes. And then just go over those remaining portions with the lighter one. Okay. Could easily use the bumblebee or no, not bumblebee. I've got bumblebee. Have we? Um, We've also got so saffron, that's the other colour we've got. We used to have Mango Melody, don't have that anymore, but if you've got it, you could use that too. Um, or whatever colour you like, basically. Just do your little flowers in something that, that you like, okay? So, our little birdies then, that we're going to make look a little bit like Robins, I hope. What? Ah, she says. Um... So did a uh, an image search on you know favorite search engine you know just to look and um, the the sort of red breast if you like is is quite um, it's actually more orangey than anything if I'm honest um, this is a bronze marker and I'm just filling in the beaks because little robins have got actually dark beaks almost black in fact but I had this marker around and I didn't want to introduce another color okay. But basically, their fates, their sort of faces, and um, sort of their sort of throats here that are sort of red. Okay. Right, so going over those, and then they've actually got quite a lot of grey on them. Oh, well, at least the images I saw did. So I'm bringing in Smoky Slate to, to sort of bring in round there. This is probably going to look awful in the first instance and then somehow or other some magic happens and it will all look good in the end. That was Calypso Coral by the way, did I say? I can't remember. Okay, and then they have sort of a really light underbelly, so I'm going to bring in ivory for that. So we're going to have to blend these colours out a bit. It'll, it'll work out though, just give it time to blend. Take that into there a little bit actually. Like that. And then sort of the tails and tips of the wings and stuff have got a darker brown on them, so we're just gonna bring back in this bronze marker to bring that in. Just a little bit a bit of shadow and around the tops of the heads, you know, that sort of towards the back, beyond their faces. So we might need to just blend this stuff back out again. So this is probably the, the blendy part of this project really. It um, wasn't quite so complicated with the little blue tits. And then we'll just go over those little faces again. Just intensify that orange. And those little red breasts. Oh, ah, oh, little, little birds, okay. So I think we get the impression of robins, I think. Just by the fact that they've got the um, that sort of uh, orange 
red breast there so I think that's turned out really really well and um, just to tell you on the uh, the blue tits I've got um, the light old olive blended with some so saffron to make the little little breast there um, so and have this sort of green color in and green in the top of their wings so that's old olive with so saffron and then I brought in the dark balmy blue to put the little blue accents in Right, we're going to cut this with <coughs> our stitched rectangle die and um, just getting that even sort of left and right top and bottom ish put it where you think where you want it on your card it's your card this is merely a suggestion of something you can do with the free of the free as a bird stamp set Ooh, that went ping at the end there we go just when that plates went through that was all <laughs> it didn't go ping ping it was just made a particularly loud noise that was all so there we go quick as that uh, that lovely die cut so we want to apply the uh, ribbon around there before we stick that down so I'm just going to bring in my stamp and seal here just to secure this white seam binding ribbon around the bottom so I'm just having it sort of grazing across this sort of bottom portion here about I don't know half inch up or something um, and just securing that on the back just cut off this little bit of excess here so again nothing super complicated here and then we're going to put that straight onto our card base let me just get that um, top crease sorted out a bit more seal along the top and the bottom there so that we can secure that and this is um, a pretty good fit for the um, for the card actually to go width ways um, for a simple layout I think this looks good that's that's my personal opinion anyway so I'm going to add a bow so we'll just do our bunny ear bows make your two loops and just wrap them into a simple knot and then you can just twiddle about with your um, with the size of the loops I don't want a huge bow I just want something that will fit in with the um, image so if you pull it sort of tighter it's always going to end up a little bigger than okay and then we'll use a glue dot to put that in place this glue dot's going to be a little large for for the um for this bow so i'm just sort of trying to fold it over a little bit and um, work out where i want it i think it was i think it's about there i want it So I've just sort of rolled it over so that it's not going to um, poke out as much, like so. And we can cut off those tails, which I did so that they would just come beyond that um, panel just a little bit, just to break up that border. And then the only thing left to do is our sentiment. And I've just got a strip of scrap um, there from my... Um, my sort of scrap bin so this is just an off cut that I have um, when I'm cutting down my card layers and things it's approximately half an inch I would say um, and I've already mounted my stamp onto the block and tested it on grid paper to make sure I can get it straight and that hasn't turned out too badly at all and then we can just clip that to, to size just a little bit to the left there so we can tuck it into our um, ribbon and I'm going to just use the edge strips of my dimensionals here perfect for this kind of thing so I'm going to run that along the bottom of that sentiment there I just want it to overlap that ribbon slightly. So 
So we're just going to tuck that in and it's just going to sit a bit lower, it's not central on the ribbon. Just sort of tuck it in but hide the top edge but a bit lower down on the card. So that's making contact with the cardstock rather than over the top of the ribbon. Okay, and that's it. I'm not adding any extra bits and pieces. I want to keep it nice and simple. And um, that's my, uh, those are my two cards for today. Okay, so I've sort of got the springtime and the winter version, if you like. Not that robins aren't around in the all year round. We just see them more in the winter. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I'll, I'll link the, um, the colours and things and uh, all the products that I've used in the description bar. Hope you've enjoyed that little colouring, a little bit of colouring. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. Take care, stay safe out there. See you soon. Bye.